Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about the Thor open source robotic arm, which is an open source 3D printable robotic arm with six degrees of freedom. So I'm on the Thor homepage now, which is thor.angel-lm.com. And you can see they have a picture of the 3D model for the arm here. And then they have a number of resources, which I'm going to go through. Um, so here on the home page, it says Thor is an open source and printable robotic arm with six degrees of freedom. Its configuration, yaw, roll, roll, yaw, roll, yaw, is the same used by most of the manipulator robots on the market. In its extended position, Thor is about 625 centimeters, uh, millimeters high and can lift loads up to 750 grams. The project was started in 2015 as a final degree project called Design and Implementation of an Open Source 3D Printed Six Degrees of Freedom Robotic Arm. Since then, this project has continued to develop little by little. And then these are low resolution, but you can see some examples of the arm here. And then it says, to date, more than 20 units have been built in at least 11 different countries. Um, so here is another um, photo of the Thor arm. So you can see it has this 3D printed uh, plastic. It has a servo here, the arm, and then it's bolted down to some base. Um, and then also on the Thor website, you can download the um, 3D files for all of the plastic parts for the arm, information about the electronics, information about the uh, firmware, and then it looks like the author has also created this Asgard piece of software, which I believe is a, yes, it's a GUI for de uh, for controlling um, the Thor arm developed in PyQt. Um, so you can see a screenshot here, um, and I believe this uses like stepper instructions, um, though there may be other options too. Um, So continuing on the website, they also have a forum. So you can talk with, with other people who are building this arm, um, get help on the 3D models, electronics. Um, and then there's also a buy and sell zone. Um, so if you want to <coughs> um, buy or sell parts for the Thor, you can contact other people here. Um, I actually tried to register for this forum and I couldn't get past some of the security measures, um, but clearly other people have been posting. So it definitely is possible. Um, and then frequently asked questions, uh, what's the total cost of building the robot? Uh, the components are about 350 euros. Uh, I'm guessing this is a bit on the low side, um, which kind of leads into the next question here, which is how much time is required to build the ro this robotic arm? Um, and they say this is a long project, which may take several weeks or months to complete. For reference, the total printing time is around 200 hours if all of the parts are printed the first time and that definitely is not going to happen. Uh, once printed, the assembly takes around 10 hours once you know the steps to follow, which again, you won't know the steps the first time. Um, before you get fully into this project, evaluate if you're going to be able to dedicate the time it requires so that it does not end up being in the corner of half-finished project. Um, so I actually have a half, uh, not even half-finished Thor uh, arm component right here, um, which I'll talk more about in a sec. But yeah, this is definitely um, not a weekend project. Um, building even one of these would be, um, be quite the project. Um, but hopefully if enough people start building them, then people could kind of build up economies of scale so that maybe you could just buy all the parts 3D printed. You could buy a board already soldered for this, um, and it'd be much faster and easier to build these. But for right now, I think there aren't many um, parts for sale. Um, and so if you try to build this, it's probably going to take you months to do. Um, so I guess if you're in Australia, you can buy this uh, PCB. Um, the project also has a profile on Hackaday. Um, so you can see some more pictures here. So 
So I have uh, this part right here, uh, this little gear. Um, I printed these on PLA plastic, uh, which I think they recommend using stronger plastic uh, for some of the more important parts, but I think P PLA, which is what most 3D printers are, uh, does work. Um, so you can see more of the parts here. So I'm now looking at his YouTube channel, um, and you can see some more videos of the um, door arm. Um, and then the project also has a GitHub repository, too. Um, so you can see this is licensed under the Creative Commons uh, Share Alike Attribution License. Um, and then you can download the STL files and other files for the project here. Um, so I'm going to look at the uh, documentation on the website now. So this is in the documentation tab. Um, you can see they have get started, I'm not sure, bill, oh, bill of materials, uh, 3D printing, assembly, electronics, firmware, and control software, and then this page is currently empty. Um, so on the getting started page, um, they re reiterate here uh, that this is not a weekend project, uh, which I definitely agree with. Um, I spent kind of a few weeks casually trying to build this, um, and I only have maybe five to ten uh, like working parts uh, after maybe printing 20 or 30 or something like that. Um, so yeah, and you'll need a number of areas of knowledge, um, 3D printing, PCB design, programming, and robotics. Um, I think this is where it can get really valuable if more people are building these um, because there's a lot of kind of low-hanging fruit for exchange here. Um, so if one person 3D printed five set of arms, and then one person created five PCBs, um, and then someone else wrote some new, like, really great software for this arm, um, I think everyone could kind of benefit, and um, a lot more people would be able to get their hands on one of these. Because building one from scratch yourself is going to be quite the project. Um, and so to build it, you need a 3D printer, a soldering station, a multimeter, and Allen keys and screwdriver set. Um, so when I was doing mine, um, I used FreeCAD just to look at them, um, but then I was able to just print the uh, 3D models pretty easily from the STL files. Um, so looking at the bill of materials here, um, they tell you about how much plastic you need. So most consumer 3D printers are PLA, um, so that's what I have. I have the Ender 3 3D printer, um, and then I think they recommend that for some of the parts that need to be more durable or that get hot and are next to motors, they recommend this ABS plastic, which needs, I think, a slightly better 3D printer. Um, and then they list all the parts here, so you have stepper motors, server motors, belts, pulleys, bearings, um, and most of these are just AliExpress links, but I think you probably could find other sources for a lot of these parts, too. Um, and then these are all of the parts that need to be 3D printed. Um, so you can see some photos and their names here. And then, this is in Spanish, but they have a whole video series of a guy assembling them. So you could watch that while you're assembling. Um, and I haven't looked at this, but I guess they have an interactive instruction manual. 
um, that load. And then I never opened this assembly file, but it looks like you can do all of the CAD work in FreeCAD, which is a free and open source computer-aided design program. Uh, so I'll maybe come back to this. Um, and then you also have to build the board for it, uh, which I think this is going to require soldering. Um, he said that this is a custom board, and so you'll not find a shop that sells it. So you're going to have to either make this yourself or find someone on the forum uh, to buy this from. And then the firmware is written using the Arduino IDE. Um, so you can download the firmware from the downloads page on the website and then import it into the IDE and then um, control your robotic arm. And then, like I was talking about earlier, the author wrote this Asgard program, uh, which is just kind of a basic Python interface to be able to control this arm. Um, it looks like this is pretty easy to install since it's just Python. So I'm actually selling my parts to the Thor robotic arm now. Um, so I started building one of these, um, but for a variety of reasons kind of decided to abandon the project. Um, but I have a number of parts here that are functional. Um, so if you're looking to get started on this, um, I'm currently holding a auction on eBay. Um, so you can buy these parts for scrap um, and they will ship from Chicago. Um, let's see if this demo is loaded. Um, so this is the interactive assembly demo. Um, so I guess you could have this open on like a laptop while you're um, while you're assembling the robotic arm. This is actually pretty cool. Um, try to continue it. Um, so it looks like he generated this from the CAD files, so you can get like a help while assembling. Thanks for watching.